Hey guys it's phase one once again today i'd like to go over this new ship from consolidated outlands and uh, this ship is called the nomad now um i find this ship um very very interesting as you can tell the the exterior of this ship is very unique it's um it looks a lot like my old ship from elite dangerous the asp explorer so it kind of gives me that feel that i have that ship in this game now and um, i find it very very interesting i think the design language of it is is fantastic because this ship itself um gives us uh just another option right in terms of aesthetics not only aesthetics but this ship is more so it's being referred to as what you call a um a premium starter ship so this is the next step up from your auroras your your uh mustangs and and just your 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 initial starter ships right so if um and then after that is it's supposed to be the cutlass black Be previously if you're starting off with a, an aurora or a mustang your next ship up is the um, cutlass and in game the cutlass is i think 1.3 mil so you're, you're starting off with a ship that's probably worth worth like fifty thousand or i think two hundred thousand and then you're jumping straight to 1.3 mil so this ship is being introduced as the the um the middle ground so to speak right so this is the next step up if you don't want to jump straight to the cutlass so this ship comes with i think 24 seu of cargo space and as you can see the, the space in the the cargo space is actually in the in the back and the initial what they want to go for was this uh space trucker kind of feel for the ship so what i like to do is i like to give you um what the the, the interior in the interior tour of uh just to give you a feel of how it looks like and how it feels like uh from the inside um all right so um as you can see in the cockpit is very 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 pretty i think it's very very pretty the view is not bad even though there are these struts here it's still not bad i find it very interesting it's unique um as you can see the ui is all um this whole thing is one screen um as they described and um all of it you can enter eventually you're going to be able to interact with all of it and um which is very very nice and uh so let's let's quickly get out and as you can see the cockpit has a door itself so it's very very it's a very very nice touch the seating is fantastic um as you can see it's leather and uh yeah the seating is nice i really like the design language in general of this ship and it's it's a it's a beautiful beautiful ship i think i personally think so initially right here to get to the cockpit you'll have access to your bed so you can log off from this ship you don't have to go to a space station to to actually log off so you have that option here you can see that there is different items that they have here eventually i'm sure they'll give us the ability to place our own things here and um and here you can see that there's a kitchenette here you can see all the different spots that you can actually place things here and here uh you can actually sit down and eat from here so there's a seat right here that you can have access to and sit down and and things of that nature it's i i think it's it's very nice it's very very nice right so once again the ship is very well designed i'm very very happy with it so once you um, exit out of here you'll have access to the main area of the ship 
Uh, to your left here is your little um, washroom. Wash. I think it's a washroom bath. I'm not sure. I think maybe it's just a. Uh, it's just uh, the toilet here, right? You have access to that. How do I close this here? And um, to your right is your closet where you can place things. So once they get iCash in, it's going to be fantastic, I think, where you can actually place things. And when you log off and log back in, you'll still have those things where it is. So you have that there. And then here, I believe it's components. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's here, what component this is. But these are some components. I think I heard there's some access to components up here or something like that. I think, hold on, I think there's more components up here. Yes, so there's more components up here that you can have access to. Uh, that you can see, I think these are shield generators here. Yeah, let's close that. And, and uh, these look like coolers. So you have access to more components here. Let's head back. So now back here, you have access to the cargo. You can actually see the cargo from here. And once you, um, when you hit this button here, it actually extends the cargo bay to the ground. So when you're landed, it's, uh, you, you can actually have access to be able to put your Argo ROC, your, your, your Grey Cat ROC is, sorry, your Grey Cat ROC to be able to put it there. Or if anybody wants to hop on, they can hop on once it's down. I'll show you how that looks like in a minute. Um, so here, this is also the exit entrance here. And what I find interesting is the uh, the way the door comes up, the way the ladder comes out. It's just so organic, and I like that feel. Very, it feels very, very uh, premium as a ship. The design is beautiful, honestly. I really, really like it. So what I wanted to show you is uh, what what's interesting about this ship is it has a unique landing gear. It actually doesn't touch the ground. It's more so um, grav lev. So let me show you how that looks like here. Right. So once you're landing, the landing gear comes out like this, and the ship literally floats on the ground. Right. So it actually doesn't touch the ground. So, and then I'll show you the only part that touches the ground is actually the cargo bay once you extend it. So I'm going to do that real quick just to show you guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, where's the button? Uh, open exterior. There's got to be a cargo bay button here, right? So, open exterior. But I, there we go. So, and then it extends out like that, and that ramp is what touches the ground, right? So you'll be able to put your your gray cat ROC in into the ship, and uh, yeah. So that's the ship, man. I think this is a beautiful ship. I love the design. It's a beautiful ship, and I think it's it's unique. Right now, I think this is one of the most unique ships in the game. So, um, yeah, let me know in the, in the comments below what you think of the design of the ship. You think it? Do you like it? Do you think this is a ship that you'll you'll get in game, or is this a ship that you actually buy, you actually pledge for, right? Um, yeah. So let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. If you're new to this channel, make sure you you do subscribe and um, leave a like as well if you like this video. If you don't like it, also leave a dislike. So, all right. So, yeah. So, this is your Consolidated Outlands uh, Nomad. All right. I will see you on the next one.